rhythm of pulse so normally what happens is the sa node produces electrical discharge at regular intervals which leads to regular depolarization of the atria followed by transfer through the av node to the ventricle whereas then the regular contractions of the ventricle occur which if are effective will produce regular and adequate blood flow to the vessels and which will then be palpated as a pulse so let's say if there is a uh, heart rate of 60 per minute so in that case the sa node will be producing discharge every second for the whole one minute and similarly there will be contractions present at every second such that there will be 60 contractions per minute this is what happens normally and we know that the pulse rate is the pressure waveform of the left ventricle contraction and this left ventricle contraction should be effective only then we will be able to palpate it as a pulse in the peripheral vessel and what do you mean by the effective uh, left ventricle contraction is one there should be enough left ventricle contraction force and second is there should be enough blood present in the left ventricle cavity which can then be palpated as a pulse but sometimes what can happen is there might be a missed beat present like let's say the discharge was present at 1 second but uh, the pulse is also present at 1 second but at the second second there is no pulse palpable then again the pulse is palpable and again 2 3 beats could not be palpable so this will lead to be development of a irregular pulse and how this missed beat can occur is either if there is a failure of left ventricular depolarization such that the force could not be generated to produce contraction or if there is very low blood present in the left ventricle again there will be not enough blood going to the peripheries so the pulse would not be able to be palpated so if there are missed beats present it will lead to a irregular pulse and irregular pulse can be of two types one is regularly irregular and another is the irregularly irregular regularly irregular means there is a pattern of missed beats present like in this case there is one beat present second beat present then there is a miss then two beats present then a miss then two beats present then a miss so there is a pattern of missed beat present that is it is being missed missed after every two normal pulses so this is regularly regular whereas in irregular there is no such pattern present like in this case there is one beat present followed by a missed beat then two present then missed beat then one then three so there is no pattern present so this is irregularly regular regularly irregular is uh, present in case of fixed av nodal block and it can be present in case of ventricular bigeminy and trigeminy so now first uh, first one uh, what is fixed av nodal block is normally the sa node generates a impulse that travels from atria to ventricular through the av node but uh, if the av node cannot transfer all the impulses from atria to ventricle it is known as a block it is uh, called as a second degree block specifically and the uh, the pattern of uh, this blockage can either be fixed or variable like the one pulse can be passed second could not be passed then third could no third could be passed fourth could not be passed then fifth could be passed sixth could not be passed so this is occurring as a fixed pattern whereas uh, let's say the first impulse could pass then two could not pass then three passed and one could not pass so this is a variable pattern so if there is a fixed pattern of av nodal block what will happen is every alternate time there will be no pulse going to the left ventricle so the depolarization will not occur so there will be no pulse generation so this will lead to regularly irregular rhythm which is occurring due to failure of the left ventricular depolarization second is the ventricular bigeminy what happens is ventricular bigeminy is there is a normal pulse present followed by a premature ventricular contraction present let's say this is atria of ventricle so there is a normal sa node discharge which is leading to depolarization followed by pulse generation and just as this impulse is completed there is a ectopic within the ventricle which is producing a vpc so what happens is there is a very little time between the two contractions one due to this and second due to this so there is not enough diastolic time so there will be very less preload and then thus there would be not a uh, there will be a missed beat present so in this case there will be missed beat present due to uh, very low blood in the left ventricle okay and ventricular bigeminy means that the every second is a vpc so first will be normal then there will be vpc then when there will be normal and then there will be vpc similarly what happens in trigeminy is there are two normal and every third is a vpc so this uh, occurring of vpc just after a normal impulse 
will lead to decrease in diastolic time and there will be not enough time so there will be no blood so pulse will be missed now next is the irregular irregular pulse which can occur in cases of multifocal atrial tachycardia atrial flutter atrial fibrillation variable av block and the premature ventricular contraction no, now uh, what is multifocal multifocal atrial tachycardia is there is three or more than three focus present within the atria that is producing the impulse so as there are multiple impulses being produced at one time there will be not enough diastolic time present for the blood to fill and again there will be a missed beat whereas in atrial flutter and atrial fibrillation there is a missed beat present to, due to both the causes as uh, there is an important concept that the AV node can pass at max T220 impulses per minute if the impulses passing through the AV node are more than 220 per minute there will be some miss, missed beats present there will be some impulses will, will no, which will not be able to get transferred and this will lead to missed beat in atrial flutter and fibrillation what happens is the rate is more than 220 so AV node will not allow all the discharges go through the ventricle so there will be a missed uh, electrical depolarization of the ventricle present thus not enough force will be generated also as there are multiple impulses being passed to the ventricle there will be very less diastolic time so also there will be very less blood present in the ventricle so combination of both of this will lead to a missed beat and this can lead to irregular pulse variable AV block we have already discussed and uh, the PVC that is the ventricular premature contraction can again lead to irregular irregular pulse if it is not occurring in a pattern like in bigeminy and trigeminy like in this case there is a normal pulse then two VPCs then two normal pulse so there is no pattern of VPC present so there will be no pattern of irregularity so it will lead to irregular irregular pulse now one important point that you should know is let's say a patient comes to you with palpitations and you have palpated that there is a irregular irregular pulse then how would you come to know that what is the cause among them so what uh, the important differentials that you need to keep in mind clinically are atrial fibrillation variable AV block and the PVC and how you can differentiate is you can calculate the apex pulse deficit if the apex pulse deficit is zero then it is a variable AV block whereas if the apex pulse deficit is more than zero and if it is less than 10 it is due to premature ventricular contraction whereas if it is more than 10 then it is due to atrial fibrillation and uh, how this interpretation has been done this you can uh, easily uh, watch in the heart rate versus pulse rate uh, video where I have explained the reasons for this so this is the rhythm of pulse